and welcome to the finale video of Never Have I Ever Season 3. We're talking episode 10. This was such a good ending. It's such a good um, season and overall. It, I don't know what to expect from Season 4, but um, I'm so hoping the likes of Paxton and stuff do return but before we go into that hit the subscribe button leave a like and of course spoilers ahead let's talk about the finale to season three i've never have i ever enjoy so yeah um paxton is set to leave for atlantic city dv is dealing with you know should she go to this school in the middle of nowhere with nice and new people <sighs> An incredible speech from Paxton that pays homage to everything DV's done for him in the past three seasons. Ben finally isn't being a, a complex person and just finally says it straight that he is going to miss DV and obviously the hookup at the end of the episode. Circling out what I basically said would happen at the end of season one, these two hook up. And at the end of season three, they have now hooked up again, but for sex. Going into senior year, as three girls who have lost their virginity. And I think it's brilliant. All three girls now have partners. You know, Eleanor's with Trent, who is now a holdback. Um, Fabiola is with a girl who's friends with Dez. Um, uh, the other girl is just doing whatever. She's just floating around. She appeared like once or twice. Dee is obviously going to be dating Ben. Paxton is obviously not going to be... I don't know how much he'll appear. I, I, I can't see them cutting him entirely uh, unless he's just genuinely not set to return. Um, it, it's a tough one, but um, I, I think there was no better way than the end of the series. You know, Paxton was happy to be going to college. He was thankful for everything DV did, and that's their chapter closed. I don't think they're going to date again, but again, I, I could be wrong. And everything came full circle with Ben and DV and the perfect way to end season three. Um, you know, she obviously decided to stay in Sherman Oaks uh, for season four as um, she just needed to be with her mother and was realizing everything she had been through from her dad's loss to the relationships between Paxton and Ben and Dez and her friendships and school work, work and life that she just wanted to stay in the area for one more year. And obviously that's what season four will be about. All the characters returning, bar the unknown certainty of whether Paxton will be appearing consistently. They may do how they do with Ben and Davey, how there's a voiceover, you know, they show Paxton's story there. I think that'd be really cool to keep him involved, but I'm sure we'll find out. But overall, all a fantastic season that delivered in writing, directing, fun time, emotional, tying up so many loose ends and sending us into a finale season that is set to be brilliant and I'm guessing it's going to be airing next year. I think the cast is brilliant from teachers to main cast to side cast, even people like you know, Eric and stuff, the uh, popular girls. And just everything they tried to achieve this season was successful in every way and it felt never boring, never dull, and the trio of main characters of Paxton, Ben, and DV is a uh, incredible story that we've been on for the past three seasons, and they've done a terrific job. So props to Netflix, props to the people behind Never Have I Ever, the directors, the writers, the producers, and everyone will be further along in the line. I genuinely can't wait for season four. We will be doing predictions, like I said, for season four, how I think the season will end, the series will end. Um and my season one reviews going all the way back to how this journey began. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and if you wanted to see any of the TV shows appear on the channel, do let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed these series of reviews. And stay tuned for more coming your way. Thanks for watching as always. And I have, I have a few of them never have our videos planned, so stay tuned for them coming in the next week or so. And until next time, goodbye. I am going to give, uh, before I actually wrap up the um, episode, because I actually forgot to say, the rating, I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10, pure emotion, comedy, and story. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.